everybody and welcome to my channel. If you know me from Michaels, then you know me as Miss Diane or Miss D and this is going to be a special presentation that I'm doing called Miss D's Corner. And this week we are going to be doing some turkey day crafts. So parents, if you need something for your kids to do while you're cooking for the 50 million guests that you have, then please feel free to keep watching this video. If you like this content, please let me know in the comment section below or give me a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. All right, let's get started. Hi you guys and welcome to Miss D's Corner. Before we get started, I just wanna go over some materials with you guys. We got pencils, we got construction paper, scissors, and glue. Very straightforward list, supplies that any parent would have in their house. But as you'll see in the video, <laughs> I am obviously not a parent because I was missing a very important ingredient here. This is just my coloring page. I made this for kids who aren't scissor usage age so they can have fun on Thanksgiving as well. And they just color it. It's a really good time. Here we have the actual craft. And if you're looking for the pages for this craft, it's just gonna be in the links in the description box. But I can just sum it up for you. You're just gonna cut everything out trace it and then glue it all together. Trace it, cut it out again, and then glue it. If you can't actually get the craft sheet, um, I have some not so kid friendly things that substitute a pill bottle, <laughs> I'm sorry, will be the head. A Dixie cup, kid friendly, is gonna be the body. And then a dime, which is not small kid friendly, can be the beak. I did a little side view for you guys so you guys can see that I was serious. Here we go, the thing that children should not be around pill bottle. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I obviously don't have children. <laughs> a Dixie cup. All right, look at you video, Diane. And then, oh, pesky dime is gonna be the beak. You can obviously substitute items here. <laughs> so we're just gonna cut the turkey out. Um, kids should definitely be using safety scissors. These scissors look dangerous as I'm watching the video. Um, they make me nervous and they made me nervous when I was using them. But very straightforward. It's just going to be like 20-25 seconds of me cutting out this craft. So you can go ahead and skip ahead or you can watch it. I think watching people cut paper is very like it's like a visual ASMR I don't know what that means I don't know what that would be but so here we are Miss Diane did not have any construction paper so she painted watercolor paper she cut out all of her pieces and now we're getting to the tracing phase of everything if I could give you parents a tip it would definitely be that you guys need to tape down the items that the kids are going to be tracing. I struggled with this. You might see it a little bit in the video, but it was really hard to trace and it was frustrating and I imagine for a child it would be even more frustrating. So tape down the tape down the cutouts onto the paper. Here I am cutting. Um, this paper is extremely, extremely stiff because I had to bake it and I had to paint over it. So you're going to see me struggle to like cut out the feet in I think a few seconds it gets really bad please don't do what I did please just go ahead use your Michaels coupon and go buy some construction paper because it is not worth it and I almost cut myself a couple times not worth it uh, should have just bought the construction paper for the craft also sorry that my camera's a little out of focus I kind of got caught up in the craft and didn't check my viewfinder as much but don't worry, the rest of the video was not like that. Just the scene by itself. Oh well, look, there we go, arranging the wings. Now here we are, we're gonna cut out the feathers. I keep wanting to call them leaves. Um, again, painted this paper, cut it. It was terrible because it's so stiff and so hard. But yeah, there you go, very straightforward again. Now this is the part where you wanna have a lot of diligent you want to glue all the small pieces together so the gobbler on the beak the feet onto the turkey first I actually traced those feet from the turkey cutout 
um, the wings. You can have them going over the stomach or mine is a happy, cheerful turkey. So it's, you know, waving. And that's just by gluing them behind the shoulders. Here are the feathers. You just want to arrange those and glue them down. You can actually have the kids write what they're thankful for on them. I think that's a good idea. And you can do that while you're waiting for the front of the turkey to dry. So my turkey was a little stiff so we had to put a book on him and now he's dry and ta-da! Look at him. His name is Tom and he's ready for Thanksgiving. He's going to have a good time. He's refrigerator ready, if I may. Let's actually check him out on my actual real life refrigerator. <laughs> Here we go. There's Tom. He's ready for the party that we're going to have on Thanksgiving. I'm so proud of him. You guys don't even know. If you guys enjoy this craft, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys hopefully next time. You know, this was, a, I, I had a great time. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, comment, and subscribed, and followed me on Instagram and on Facebook, and hashtag Miss D's Craft Corner, so that way I can see your crafts that you did. Alright, you guys have a good one. Happy Thanksgiving.